Hi everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Ara and right now I am joined by my da -da -da -da. She was class valedictorian and not just that, she was like the summa cum laude, which is weird. How come you're very hesitant to like let people know that like you have achieved something like that big? All my friends with people like singing. Like me. <laughs> like what's it like ba to be you? Na parang, okay, so now what? Siyempre, I don't naman ma feel na like yung pressure. Kasi mag expect talaga yung people. Eh, feeling ko naman, hindi naman different yung knowledge ko from like other people. Eh, ako, like me kasi yung mga kami lahat, hindi talaga siya big difference. Like wala. I, I just think parang it's just, hindi naman just lucky. Pero maraming factors, not just like being slowly intelligent gets mo parang ah, gets, gets. although syempre a lot of it is hard work pero I'm just saying you just don't have to point the finger at one person maraming magaling sa bad kasi mas maraming true maraming other na smart people it's not just the top so you don't feel like you're really above everyone else and just the same parang you don't want people to think that way Ako, ayaw ko. Feeling ko talaga same lang. Ayaw ko rin maging sumakumlaw. Hindi, gusto ko rin maging sumakumlaw. <laughs> Pero tapos na eh. Ako na lang. Weird ayaw eh. Ko. Para forever ka may pressure. It's para eh. Actually, you know what? Hindi ko naman ang feel na like, alam mo yun, almighty ka. Hindi naman ganun eh. True. Talaga. Marami talaga ang other factors. That's revealing. Sige, yes or no only. Are you great conscious? Mm, I think so. To a certain extent. Yes or no? Alam mo, Mina, great conscious. Like, Ako, inamin ko nung, when I was in first year, I was super great conscious. Like, every quiz, I have to be at least 8 out of 10. It's not that I write all my grades. Well, I, I used never to do that. that. <laughs> Yo, I did like, that hindi for ko one year. Ko grade ko. Basta, in every test, basta I do my best. Tapos, wala akong, like, cup yeah, of grade. Weird. Does I had classmates in pre-med who had, like, Excel finals of their grades. Yeah, never. And they have the grading criteria in their laptop. As in, like, they have a prediction of their grade already based on their performance. So they really track it. So you don't do that. No, Excel. <laughs> she doesn't know <laughs> what to do. But I feel like I'm so much stressed now. So, okay, it's fine. I'm just going to do my best because every exam. Okay, I have to get high. It's not high, but I have to do my best so I don't get disappointed in every exam. Uh, are you competitive? No, I don't think so. Uh, Academically competitive, no talaga. Huh? I've, ne I've never been raised na I was part of competitions. I don't see my classmates as competition. Well, I just really hate competition. Mas stress ko. Ayaw ko talaga. Because I feel like all the top students are competitive to an extent. Is that a misconception that all the top students are? I think a lot are competitive. Are you disciplined? Yes. I think so, yeah. She's, I think she's Yeah, I think so. Uh, she I will know. not go out with yeah. us. Yeah. Are you organized? No. Sobra, no. My files from first year med, hanggang ngayon wala. As in, wala, wala ko anything na retain from med. It's just there in the trash. Are you attentive in class? I think so. Yes. A procrastinator. Yes. A crammer. Yes. <laughs> she's all of us. Except she's like, sumakamlaga for not. Basically. Yes or no, do you have other hobbies outside med school? Uh, hobbies? And like, no. <laughs> no, I don't other talent. It's sad. I'm just not. not you know what her talent. talent is and her hobby is? No shame. Studying daw talaga. As in, <laughs> serious, grabe na man. That's like a skill because she's really good at studying. Do you have extracurriculars? Before, in yeah. high school and college, parang lahat ata. So, nalingan ko na. But in med school, you decided to focus. In med school, yeah, because in med school, parang I want to spend time with my family and my friends without any parang responsibility to other people. Ang sarap kaya na free weekend. Kaya nga. Wait, so that means tamad. If you're planning to go to med school, you probably should just enjoy na talaga your high school and your college. Yeah, sure. Do all the extracurriculars and gain everything that you can from them. Diba? I think ako doon. Kasi parang yung formative years mo. Yeah. Where you gain all your skills yeah. in life. Do you have a social life? Yeah. Ito pa. People think... Ito talaga. Nakatuto talaga ako. Na. People really think that we don't get to go out. Please explain. I think that's the opposite. Sobra kaya mag... mag diba? Mag-build yung mga med students. <laughs> these are children. I'm sorry. I mean like, med students, parang... Na, na suppress yung mga stress nila. So when it's like the end of the term or something, right? All, All out. out. Yeah. And like my weekends, I love my weekends. Para yes. masa weekend ko. 
spend time with family. Family and friends and family and friends. The next question is, do you have a love life? <laughs> yeah. Oh, see, it's bad. Ganon. Yeah. Showbiz, so non-showbiz. Nice. Non-showbiz, better. Joke. <laughs> non-showbiz meaning non-med school. Yeah. Better? Yeah, kasi hindi kayo sabay stress. Mm-mm. Siya lang tagatanggap lahat. Siya lang tagatanggap lahat. Oh, para, naman. Your schedule would perfect better kasi... Siya mag-adjust. <laughs> 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 or baka lucky lang na understanding. So yeah, it can yeah, be done. Yeah, and great support system. Diba? Super. Sobra. Mm. As in, that's, that's the number one. Actually, yeah, that's, I have to mention that I think, I think that part of your success is your support. super strong support system. Like, your parents are both doctors so they would understand. Even your sister and your boyfriend is not stressed. And all your friends are also mad. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So yeah, I'm taking important, credit. <laughs> important support system. Yes or no? Have you? Have you ever cried or had a breakdown? Yes, really. The more of like no overwhelm, more like tired. Parang just tired. Uh-huh. Or like kinakabahan. Like just stress lang ako. Like sobrang bigat ng feeling. Yeah. Like, I was super scared. Dun Have you ever thought of quitting med school? No. Ah, uh, no. no. Never. Med school. Kasi yung School in general, the four years, no, never. Baka quitting men. Uh-huh. I mean, like, na after, na like, you would go uh, on a different path. Na, like, okay. oh, yeah, okay. Actually, Pero men, never. Parang it's just four years of your life. So true. Four, four years lang. Like, it's something. Like, Everyone like, thinks talaga, no, that's four years. But for know. us, it's just four years. So, have you ever imagined yourself doing anything else? No, not really, no. Yeah, parang wala na. Parang you just feel na parang sometimes judge some other people. You know, at this age, parang do better than you. But have money, spend it, have free weekends. Yeah. Pero generally, like ibang career, I don't think I have any Yeah. Other. So, yung may quote na ganyan, diba? Medicine is for the true, true, true. So, what do you think that you do differently to answer parang what is your secret? Parang sa tingin mo, personally, syempre, of course, you thought about it. Parang, oh my God, I did it. But how did I do it? Parang gano. Actually, Meron kang secret. John. I think I just have a personal standard that in each task that I do, akong, there's something I want to achieve. Na if I don't reach that standard, it's something I wouldn't be proud of. Okay, so, so if I study, I'll, I'll study na, and I'll take the test the best that I can. Wait, let's be specific. Kanyare, exam, long exam, over 100, and they return the test results, and you got 82. How would you feel? Yeah, but this is a judgy question. People no. will judge. Yun nga, wait, no, we can clarify that. I just when you're a doctor, it's 18 things that you got wrong. Oh, I think I have a perfectionist. And that's okay. Yeah. And it's not neat. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> I think the secret of top students is that they have really high standards for themselves. And they are able to work hard to achieve that. Gets niya, parang if I declare, if I say to myself that I'm not gonna be okay with an 82, then my actions will follow. Yes. I think. So, uh, parang, if you say to yourself, I'm not gonna get 80 or 70 or 65 in this exam, Shepard, you would work hard so that you will reach that point. Some students will be happy with an 84, pero some will be disappointed. Yes. I think it's your standard. Um, yeah. standard. So you should set your personal standards. If you want to. I'm 79. Because 79 to 80 yung maintaining ng scholarship. So, kailangan 80. 80 lang. Masaya na ako. So, mali din. In my... Meaning kasi ako magaling mag-compute. Ay, mas the GC thing. ako sa kanya pero mas matalino siya sa akin. Ang nangyari kasi dati nung medtake ako, akala ko suma ko. Manya pa oh. lang. <laughs> Yun lang. Oh, yeah. Sad story but true. Will you air that? Akala ko siya. Oh, that's, this is Facebook Live. <laughs> <laughs> so, you had your speech when you graduated, right? So can you share with us like a gist of your graduation speech? Well, I think my favorite part is yung medicine is not for the intelligent, not for the proud, ganyan. It's for those who are hardworking, poor, humble. I really think so. Kasi talo talaga na, sa medicine ah. Talo na mat- masipag ang matayin. Kasi hindi naman siya natural. Like you wouldn't know it naturally. Yeah, hindi siya instinct. It's a uh, it's really something you have to work hard for. Hard work kaya naman ako. Nicho. <laughs> what is your message to aspiring and surviving medical students who are watching right now? Because a lot of people who are watching want to go to med school. Ah, okay. If you decide to go to med school, just remember that it's a lifelong commitment. <laughs> yeah, as a friend, 
realize when I entered na yun na pala yung life mo forever. Kasi yun talaga, medicine. And I think number one na you should have is ano, compassion. Like genuinely, you would like to help them get better. Kasi it really tire you out, di ba? If you really like it, as in super daming masipag in med who make it. So it's just that you just really have to want it. And med school is like only one eighth of the journey. The rest of the learning will come pa when After you train. Which is if you're not the academic type of person, mas may enjoy no. So isipin niya na lang the med school is just you know the entryway. True ya ay. It's not really like That's studying true. books the entire time. Ay, oh ma, buto na Fun siya! Fun kaya ng clerk. Yeah, that's... Wait, I'm so glad that you mentioned that. Because people, again, think that medicine is always just for the book smart and all. But really, we're just in the classroom for three years. Three years lang. In fourth year, in internship, hospital life na. And that's a whole different story. And, oh, and they say na parang sheltered med school na parang... You just nerds, ganyan. Parang ako, uh, we talk to no. more people every day than yeah. the average person. Uh, we deal with different kinds of people every day. So, don't ask. <laughs> Where did my three years go? Diba? Sobrang bilis lang niya. So, if gusto niya talaga, it's just fast. Ayan! Thank you so much, Erica, for joining me. I hate me. you. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> So that's it for now, and I hope you like this video. Thank you, Erica, for joining. Grabe, mag smile ka naman. <laughs> Nayo niyo. I'm so shy. She's so shy, but she's so excited that her mom will see this. Ito Cherry, this is for you. I forced her so that you have something to share on your Facebook page. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you Bye. for watching. And if you have any more questions, just leave them below, and she will answer. You will answer. Okay. And don't forget, I'm going to hit like, subscribe, and get it. Bye!